The key to increasing your revenue as an online course creator is through your product suite. So the idea is that instead of just having one online course or one digital product for sale, you have several. And over time, as you generate sales for your first online course, you have a product suite in place, an offering, that is a natural path for your customers to take. So instead of just buying one online course or one digital product from you and then fading off into the distance never to be seen again, once they buy that first course from you, there are other options for them to buy either right away or further on down the line in the future. Now, having said that, building up a product suite is something that takes time. It's not something that happens overnight like people online like to make out. It takes time and thought in order to create a great product suite for your online business to grow and expand going into the future. But the first step in the process of building up a great product suite is order bumps. Having an order bump available at the checkout for your customers to buy is the very first step to increasing your overall order value and therefore generating more money for your business on average per sale of your course. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first order bump and implement it into your sales process so that you can start making money from your online course and digital product sales. Let's dive in. And thank you for stopping by on the channel. If you're a new viewer here, my name is Ryan Ford and I teach online coaches and course creators how to scale their sales while working less. And of course, it goes without saying that if you are a returning and regular viewer of my channel, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you. So thanks for coming back. Now today we're talking about order bumps. I want to talk to you about what order bumps are and why they're such an important part of your sales process. And I also want to show you how to create an order bump inside of Teachable. Teachable is an online course hosting platform that is designed for online course creators and coaches to host their digital products and coaching services on. Very straightforward. So if you're an online course creator and you're looking for a platform that's affordable, they actually have a completely free version for beginners, easy to use and reliable, then I cannot recommend Teachable enough. Now you can try Teachable out yourself. And if you do so by using my link, you will also get a free copy of the Digital Creator Startup Guide, which is a free downloadable guide that I originally created for my personal coaching clients, which lays out the steps to follow if you want to build a successful online business for yourself, both creating and selling your own online courses and digital products and offering coaching services to your customers based upon your own skills, knowledge, experience, and passions. So if you're looking to create an online business selling products like online courses, this guide will show you in a step-by-step -step process how to do exactly that. So if you're interested in getting a copy of the guide, you can sign up and try Teachable for free using the link that should be on your screen now and it's also down below in the video description box. And as my way of saying thank you for supporting me in the channel, you will also get a free copy of the Digital Creator Startup Guide. Now that I've said that, let's move on and talk about order bumps. Let's start with what actually is an order bump. An order bump is a sales tactic that businesses have been using for decades, if not centuries. And it's where you offer the customer an additional product or service during the checkout process. And the goal is simple. It's to make the customer purchase additional products and therefore spend more money with your business. Simple as that. So let me give you a real life example. When you're at the checkout in the supermarket and they have a rack of small items by the till, so stuff like chewing gum, chocolate bars, sweets, crisps, cold cans of something like Dr. Pepper, lemonade, Coca-Cola, etc. Those are order bumps, okay? The reason that they're there is because the supermarket owners know that a percentage of people, when they're queuing up during checkout, they will see these items and they will add one of them or several of them to their basket. Therefore, they spend more money. Uh, another classic example is when you're at McDonald's and they say, do you want fries with that? That simple question, which is an order bump, is responsible for generating millions of extra dollars every year, probably every day, for McDonald's and other fast food restaurants worldwide. That one simple question, would you like fries with that? The reason order bumps work so well is that during the checkout process, customers are already in what you would call buying mode, okay? So in their head, they've already whipped their card out and they're ready to spend their money. And when they're in that mode, statistically speaking, they're more likely to spend more, a percentage of them are more likely to spend more if you simply offer them something. So as a smart business owner, which is what you are, you need to be offering your customers more or something extra during the checkout process for your online course or digital products. And if you do that, point blank, you'll make more money for your business. Now let's jump into my screen and I'll show you how to create an order bump to offer your customers 
inside of Teachable. So the very first thing that you do, you log into your Teachable account, you're gonna to go to this tab down here, which is your courses tab. Now, in order to offer an order bump, you first have to create that as a product. Now it can come under a course. If it's a product like a course, it could come under a coaching program. It could be a digital download. So any of those things, courses, coaching, or digital downloads, you first have to create the order bump as a product itself. Now, in order to do that, I'll just use the courses as an example. You would simply click on new course, and then you would name the course, you'd select the author, which would be myself. You would then go on to the following, oh, do you know what, I'll, I'll do it for you, just to give you an example. Demo course, Ryan Ford, help me to generate, no, no, I don't need you to help me. Okay, demo course has been created. And then what you do is build your outline. So you go to curriculum, build from scratch, and then you would start to upload your files. So whether it be video files, downloadable files, any type of templates, whatever is included within your course, which would be your order bump, you would upload that. You can bulk upload or you can upload section by section or um, lecture by lecture, I should say. Once you've done all that, you would then come down to the pricing tab. You would then add a pricing plan. So whatever you want your order bump to be sold for when it's not an order bump, if that makes sense, okay? So you wanna price it as it would be if someone was to buy that as just one product by itself, if it was not going to be an add-on. So if somebody was just to go into your online store, pick that product out and go, I wanna buy that, you would price it for that. The reason for that is when you offer it as an order bump later on, which is something that I'm gonna show you in the process, you're actually gonna offer it at a cheaper price point. You're gonna offer it as a discounted price because that entices more people to want to buy the product because they feel they're already buying product A. If you offer them something that's normally more expensive, but now at a cheaper price point, so product B, which would be your order bump, they feel like they're getting a good deal and therefore more people are gonna convert and spend more money with your business. But I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So you would go up in here, you would set your original price point for your order bump if it wasn't going to be an order bump. So one time purchase, price point, $99 or whatever the price point might be, you would then add the pricing plan. And unless you plan to sell this by itself and create its own sales page, that, that's all you have to do. If you want to actually sell that as an individual product as well, by itself, as not, uh, not as an order bump, excuse me, then you would also need to create a sales page. For this example, I'm not gonna create a sales page for this, but this is just to let you know, if you wanna sell it by itself, not as an order bump, create a sales page. Once you have done those few things, you would then simply back out. So go back to the courses tab. You're gonna see here your course, so demo course. You would come along to here, and you want to publish the course. So you wanna make sure that that course and that product, that order bump is live and available, okay? That's the first thing that you need to do. Upload the content of the order bump onto the platform. Once you've done that, you then wanna pick the product that you want to offer this order bump with. So as my example, I will show you, I've got two products here. I've got my most popular product, which is my Digital Creator Academy. And in my business currently, this is a fairly recent thing because this is a fairly new product. I now offer my revenue multiplier course as an order bump during checkout. So I'll show you how I do that. What I would do is click the Digital Creator Academy. I will come down to the order bump tab and you will see here that I've got two price points for my Digital Creator Academy. I've got the basic price point, which is $397 and I've got the platinum price point, which is $497. When either of my, oh, sorry, excuse me, when customers choose either of these options during checkout, they will be offered my revenue multiplier program, which is usually $197 or $297. They will be offered $297 version for $97 as an order bump. Now I will show you what that looks like here to give you a preview. So somebody logs on, they find me on YouTube, they go through my sequences, they find my product, my Digital Creator Academy, and they're ready and willing to buy. So they go to the checkout process, $497, the Digital Creator Academy. They will scroll down. They can either pay by PayPal, which is another great feature that Teach will have, or they can pay by debit or credit card. Enter their credit card information, their billing address, scroll further down here. This right here is my order bump during the checkout process. So bonus offer. Would you like to double your sales? Now don't miss the chance to grab the Revenue Multiplier program at a huge discount. This program shows you how to at least double your online course or coaching program sales without running paid ads or growing your audience size. That's the promise that I make for this course. That's the idea. That's the entire reason why this course exists, okay? That's what it teaches you and allows you to do as a business owner. So I outline the details there. And I also say here at a huge discount, I wanna make sure that I emphasize huge discount. Now, if you scroll down here, if you remember a moment ago when I told you that you have to give the order bump when you are uploading it and creating it as a product into Teachable, you have to give it an initial price point. The reason that you're doing that is because this price point would then be shown here with a strike going through it. 
and then it would be giving uh, be offering them the price that the product is going to be sold for because they're already buying one of my products. So it shows them that they're getting a huge discount. If you don't have this set up and have a price point already, this won't be available to be seen. So it would just say $97 plus tax. Whereas if you have a price point in place for the product, if they were to buy it as an individual item, they're gonna see that here with a strike going through it. It's just gonna to highlight to them that, wow, this is usually $297. I'm getting 66% off. It's only, I'm saving $200 here. I'm getting this for $97. Currently, I've only had around 10, 12 sales since I've had this offer in place, the Revenue Multiplier Program. This is a fairly new course and I've only just implemented it into my funnel. Currently, one third of my customers, four people, have bought this as an order bump. So I've made an extra 97 times four, $400 minus 12, $388 in additional revenue for my business, simply by offering this as an order bump during checkout. And I've only had this in place for about six, seven weeks. That's an extra $400 for my business that I wouldn't have had if I didn't offer this as an order bump during the checkout process. So simply put, you need to have this in place, okay? You need to be offering your customers more during the checkout process because a percentage of those people, depending on how good the offer is, how much the discount is, how well it relates to the original product, a percentage of people will buy and they wouldn't be buying if it wasn't there. So the point I'm trying to make for this entire video is you need to have and be offering your customers more. Offer them more, your business will make more money. Now, if they want to add that to their order, they don't have to go through this process again. They would simply, yes, add to my order. You'll see over here, so they're buying the Digital Creative Academy. They're also buying the Revenue Multiply course. $594 total and then they would enroll. Simple as that. Now, if we head back to the page here, the order bumps tab, so you would click on the course that you want to offer an order bump with during the checkout process, click on the order bump tabs. You'll see that I've already created my order bumps here, but let me just show you how to create one because you're gonna be doing this for the first time. So you create an order bump. The main product is the Digital Creator Academy because that is the course that I'm offering this as an order bump for during the checkout process. You can select the pricing plan. Now I have three options. I have the basic, I have the platinum, Platinum, God, I can't speak English. Platinum, and then I've got three month payment plan, which is something that's inside of one of my sequences are for the customers uh, who wanna buy the platinum version, a three month payment plan, if they can't afford to pay for it upfront. You would select the price point that you want to offer your order bump for. Now, annoyingly, you can't select all three, you have to select one. So what it means is that you have to, if you wanna offer an order bump for all of these, you have to do it three times. You have to create the same order bump three times, okay? It's a little bit annoying, something that if anybody from Teach was watching, it'd, it'd be easier if you could select all three and allow an order bump to be created for all three. So if you're watching, please make that available in the future. But anyway, you select a price point. So let's just say this one. You would then select an order bump product. Now this goes back to what I said at the very beginning of the video. You need to have uploaded the product that you're going to be offering as an order bump, as a separate product itself, in order for you to now be able to allow it to someone. So you see right there, it's demo course. That's why you have to create it as an individual product first to then be allowed to offer it as an order bump during the checkout process. And you'll see I've got some of my other courses there, Revenue Multiply course, my mentoring program. You would select the demo course. I never select, I never create a price plan for my demo course, which is why now you can't select anything. I'd have to go back and do that, which is again what I said to you in the beginning, create a price plan to offer this as an order bump. So I'll choose my revenue multiplier just for this example. I would select the price plan, so the premium one, I would select next. Then I would put sale price. So original price point here, I then want to put sale price. Now you don't have to offer a sales price. If you don't want to, you can sell it at the original price point that you've selected you'll make more money if you offer it as a sales price. Keep in mind these people are already spending money with you, especially for a product like a digital course, an online course, which involves no extra work on your part. Offer it to them at a discount, okay, and a steep discount. The more that you discount the product, within reason, okay, I'm not saying that you have to sell a $300 course for $5, but within reason, the, the bigger the discount, keep in mind these people are already spending money with you, the more people are going to convert and the more money you're going to make, and it, it doesn't cost you anything else in terms of work. In the past, which is something that I previously used to offer, I used to offer a service which was a coaching program of mine as an order bump. It was actually an email mentoring program of mine. I think it was $200 or $300. That's discounted. It was $1,000 originally, $200 or $300. I would offer that uh, discounted, again, in order to increase sales. The problem with that is that because I'm offering a service like email, but anything that involves my time, so if it's a coaching program, an email mentoring program, any type of program or work that involves your time, you, you can be a little stricter with the discount that you offer because it involves your time. If it's a digital product, you know, like a PDF, another online course, downloadable templates, those sorts of things, audio files, 
you can heavily discount the products because it doesn't involve your time. If it involves your time, therefore you've now got to put in the work. You can be a little stricter with a price point because obviously it involves your time. You can only offer, you only have so many hours during the day. Okay, so you can, you can be a little bit stricter with the discount if you want to. You don't have to offer a sales price. I would always suggest that you do because the moment your customer sees an original price and then they're getting something else as an order bump for a discount, it's gonna make more people convert. So there you would put your sales price. So let's say you wanted to sell it for $97 and then you wanna click that, show original price with strike through. What that means is that it will show the original price and it will have that dash through it next to the order bump special offer price that you're getting, okay? If it doesn't have that dash through it, people might gloss over that. It's better off to put a dash through. So click show original price with strike through and then you would create the headline so here, yeah, this is what I used to offer my uh, my previous students. Three months of personal mentoring with Ryan. So what you would offer is your order bump headline, what you would write, sorry, is your order bump headline. And then you would describe what your customer is getting. So you would describe some of the benefits or the features of what the product as an order bump is that you are offering to them. I also need to say, or stress in here, that you need to mention that they're getting it at a steep discount. Mention, if you're giving it to them at a discount, which you should be in most cases, mention to them, that you're giving them a discount, okay? Say heavily discounted one time offer, name some of the, uh, list some of the benefits of them buying that product and the features that are inside of that product and make sure that they know, again, because they might not see the strike through, hard not to see it, but they might not see it, they might gloss over it. Make sure that you write in the description that they are getting a discount. If you come back to my order bump, don't miss the chance to grab the revenue multiplier program at a huge discount, okay? So make sure that you write, not only here, with the um, numbers and the strike through, make sure that you're also writing in the text to let people know in case they're glossing through it that they're getting the order bump as a discount. And then once you've done that, so you're getting a discount, X, Y, Z, description of your course here, the features, the benefits, then you would simply click add order bump. Your order bump will then come up here. Then all you have to do is click on this tab to publish it and bang, it would, it's, it's turned that one off because it's replace that one okay you can't have two order bumps in place but that is it once you've done that that is how you would create an order bump for your business inside of and using teachable so yeah that is how you can add an order bump into your online course sales process using teachable the hardest part is to actually create the order bump okay so if you're already offering an online course to your audience but you're including all of these extra goodies like extra courses or downloadable templates or ebooks or free personal coaching or whatever it may be you can actually separate that like remove that from the original offer and separate that into an extra smaller digital product and then offer it as an order bump to your customers during their checkout. And I promise you, if you start doing this, if you implement this into your business, you will make more money for your business. Now, like I mentioned at the start of this video, if you are looking for a hosting platform to build your online course and other types of digital products, your entire online empire on, you can try Teachable out for free using my link and as a bonus, you will receive a copy of my Digital Creator Startup Guide as my way of saying thank you for supporting myself and the channel. The link for that should be on the screen now if you are interested and again, also down below in the video description box. That is a wrap for this video. I hope you found this helpful and of course, I always look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, Take care.